Stardew Valley with Key Quest and Monster Mask can be very difficult. So here are my top 8 strongest builds to win every single fight. Enjoy. Let's start off with a build that should suit basically every player. This one is not very flashy, but it is highly effective. Get yourself an Infinity Sword. It has good damage, excellent range, and the perfect attack speed. Enhance it with 3 rubies to increase its maximum damage and then enchant it. To be honest, you can use any enchantment that you want here. I prefer to either use the Vampirism enchant or the Crusader enchant. Then combine 2 Iridium Bands with 2 Ruby Rings. This will further increase your damage by 40%. Make sure to use the Fighter and the Brute Profession to increase your damage even more. This build is highly effective and has no weaknesses. You should be able to defeat any enemy that dare comes between you and your Iridium Ore. It's not flashy, but it's good enough. Now if you are looking to absolutely demolish enemies with pure ease and finesse then this is the build for you. Get yourself an Iridium Gavel, enhance it with 3 Ruby Rings to increase its damage by a good percentage and once again combine 2 Iridium Bands with 2 Ruby Rings for pure flat damage. Now for the enchantment, you need the Artful Enchant for this build to work. That enchantment will reduce the cooldown of your special Hammer Slam. For your professions you should pick the Scout Profession and then the Acrobat Profession. This will further reduce the cooldown of your special move, making it feel like you can use it the entire time. Now, how do you actually use this build? Well, you can't just simply swing your hammer at enemies and you can't just use your special move and call it a day. No, you need to spam the regular attack button within the special move animation to cause an eruption of damage and death. Nothing can stand in your way when you do this. With such a short cooldown on your special move, you could defeat anything. This build is too too strong in my opinion. I won't lie, daggers are kind of just bad in this game, but they exist and we do have the tools to make them highly effective. The biggest problem with the dagger is that they have a very short range, meaning that enemies could easily hit you even if you hit them first. Anyway, get yourself an infinity dagger, enhance it with 3 aquamarines, this will increase the critical strike chance of your dagger. Now enchant it with the artful enchant to reduce its special attack cooldown. For the rings, combine 2 iridium bands with 2 aquamarine ring to get a damage buff and even more critical strike chance. For your professions, pick the scout profession and the desperado profession. Our goal here is to increase our critical strike chance as much as we can so that we can reliably crit. With the help of the desperado profession whenever we crit, we should one shot any enemy in our way. The only problem with this build is that if you do not crit well, you will not be doing very much damage at all. While this is not as good as the other builds, it is very unique and fun. Now we have the tank, this build is perfect for players that often find themselves running straight into enemies and dying a tragic death. This build will prevent all of those deaths. You can use any weapon of your choice, preferably an infinity gavel since it has the highest defensive stat. Then enhance it with 3 topazes, this will further increase the defensive stat on those weapons. Now for the enchantment, you can pick whatever you want, I would pick either the art for enchantment or the vampirism for this. For your rings, combine a crab shell ring with a phoenix ring and another crab shell ring with a ring of yoga. Make absolute sure to wear the dragon scale boots as well. Your maximum defense is going to be so high that most enemies will barely tickle you. You can completely ignore them as you mine away as if nothing odd is going on. It's a bolt with very low damage output but you'll be safe no matter what. The Loot Goblin build is not ideal for damage output, but it is perfect for greedy people like myself who want it all. For your weapons, you can pick whatever you want and enhance it however you want. I would use the Infinity Gavel option with the enchantments and the professions that reduce its special move cooldown. The Loot Goblin build is made up entirely by the rings. Get yourself 2 Lucky Rings, 1 Burglar Ring and 1 Hot Java Ring. Pair this up with a buffed up Lucky Lunch and a Ginger Ale and you will be swimming in loot. While this build does do as much damage as the others, you won't regret it. The loot will speak for itself. Ever wanted to be an archer in Stardew Valley? Well, you kind of can be. Get yourself a master slingshot and then combine two iridium bands with two ruby rings. Surprisingly, these rings do increase the damage of your slingshot. Now for the ammo, this is the most important thing that determines your damage output. If you are going to be serious about being an archer, then you need to use iridium ore as ammo. I know it's ridiculously expensive, but a slingshot loaded up with iridium ore can do some massive damage. When I do this, I usually use two slingshots shots, one with iridium ore to defeat enemies and another loaded with explosive ammo so that I can farm rocks. It's a wacky combo that kind of just works. 
do you not feel like having to deal with the enemies in this game? Well, you could just yeet them away forever. This is the knockback build. Get yourself an infinity gavel, enhance it with three amethysts, then wear two amethyst rings. All of these will massively increase your knockback stat. It seems like it wouldn't do much, but it allows you to send any flying enemy into the shadow realm. It will also yeet melee enemies as far as they can possibly go. It's not a good build. It doesn't do much damage, but gosh, is it darn funny. Now for the most unreliable build in this video, the whole point of this build is to get the highest possible damage numbers on the screen. Start off with a dragon tooth club, enhance it with 3 jades to increase the maximum critical damage. Now enhance it with the bug killer enchantment, then combine one warrior ring with one jade ring as well as one iridium band with another jade ring. Okay so the plan is simple, just defeat a bug, get the warrior buff and then defeat another buff within the buff window and hope that you crit. If it all works out, well, you will crit for a crazy high amount. Does it matter? No, but it is fun. If you want to come up with your own fun and powerful build, well then you should watch my ultimate forge guide video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more Stardew Valley videos. Bye now.